Chapter 9 Fractions Different Types of Fractions Proper Fraction Fractions in which the numerator is less than the denominator is called a proper fraction. Example 7 upon 8, 2 upon 5, 3 upon 4. Improper Fraction Fractions in which the numerator is greater than the denominator is called an improper fraction. Example 7 upon 6, 9 upon 5, 6 upon 4. Like fractions. Fractions having the same denominator are called like fractions. Example 2 upon 9, 3 upon 9, 5 upon 9, 6 upon 9. Unlike fractions. Fractions having different denominators are called unlike fractions. Example 2 upon 3, 5 upon 7, 6 upon 9, 3 upon 5. Unit fraction. Fraction having the numerator as 1 is called unit fraction. Example, 1 upon 3, 1 upon 5, 1 upon 9. Equivalent fractions. Two or more fractions that represent the same amount. Fractions are called equivalent fractions. Example, 1 upon 2, 2 upon 4, 3 upon 6, 4 upon 8, 8 upon 16. Fraction of whole numbers. We perform division and multiplication to find the fraction of whole numbers. For this, we first divide the whole number by the denominator and then multiply the answer by the numerator. Example, 3 upon 4 of 36. Step 1. Divide 36 by 4. 36 divided by 4 is equal to 9. Step 2. Multiply 9 into 3 is equal to 27. Answer 27. Improper fraction and mixed numbers. When an improper fraction is written such that the whole number and fractional number are placed side by side, it is called a mixed number. Example, convert 5 upon 2 as a mixed number. 5 upon 2 is an improper fraction since numerator 5 is greater than the denominator 2. Step 1. Divide the numerator by the denominator. Step 2. Write the quotient as the whole number, part of mixed number. Step 3. Write the remainder as the numerator of the mixed number. Step 4. Write the divisor as the denominator of the mixed number. Hence, 5 upon 2 is equal to 2, 1 upon 2. We can also convert the mixed number into an improper fraction. Example, convert 2, 1 upon 3 as an improper fraction. Step 1. Multiply the whole number 2 and the denominator 3. Therefore, 2 into 3 is equal to 6. Step 2. Add the numerator to the product obtained in step 1. 6 plus 1 is equal to 7. Step 3. Numerator as obtained in step 2 is 7. Denominator as given in sum is 3. So, 2 1 upon 3 is equal to 7 upon 3. Equivalent fractions. We know that 1 upon 3, 2 upon 6, 3 upon 9 are equivalent fractions since they represent the same amount, fraction. To find out equivalent fractions of any fraction, we multiply the numerator and the denominator by the same number. 1 upon 3, when multiplied the numerator and denominator by 2, as 1 into 2 upon 3 into 2 is equal to 2 upon 6. 1 upon 3, when multiply the numerator and denominator by 3, as 1 into 3 upon 3 into 3 is equal to 3 upon 9. So, 1 upon 3, 2 upon 6, 3 upon 9 are equivalent fractions. Example, write an equivalent fraction of 7 upon 8 with numerator 14. Or, 7 upon 8 is equal to 14 upon question mark.
To get the numerator 14, we have to multiply 7 by 2. If the numerator is multiplied by 2, the denominator also has to be multiplied by 2. We get 7 upon 8 is equal to 7 into 2 upon 8 into 2 is equal to 14 upon 16. So, 14 upon 16 is the equivalent fraction of 7 upon 8 with numerator 14. Example, write an equivalent fraction of 48 upon 66 with denominator 11 or 48 upon 66 is equal to question mark upon 11. To get the denominator as 11, we have to divide 66 by 6. So the numerator is also divided by 6 and we get 48 upon 66 is equal to 48 divided by 6 upon 66 divided by 6 is equal to 8 upon 11. So 8 upon 11 is the equivalent fraction of 48 upon 66 with numerator 11. Equivalent fractions can be expressed with different numerator or denominator. We can check whether the fractions are equivalent or not by cross multiplying the numbers. 1 upon 3 is equal to 2 upon 6. Cross multiply means 1 into 6 is equal to 2 into 3. We get the same answer, that is 6. So, 1 upon 3 and 2 upon 6 are equivalent fractions. Heritage Point Vedic Maths Easy Fraction Addition by Vedic Maths Let us understand this by an example. 3 upon 8 plus 7 upon 12 For easy addition, multiply crosswise. Step 1 Multiply 3 and 12 and 8 and 7 The result is 36 numerator and 56 denominator. So the answer is 36 upon 56.